And we have another mirror. Another energy drink. Someone has written on the door. It says Amy 31. And we have a staff lounge key. And we've unlocked the women's restroom from inside. That's how the other world shifts in this game work. You kind of have to go back and forth to find your way. Some ways will be open in one world where they're not in another. Another energy drink. Old textbooks, reports, and magazines, nothing I need. Construction. As you know, the renovations to the upper floors have run into problems. The plumbing leak and substandard materials used have forced us to close off the third floor until further notice. We're reminded of the familiar adage, you get what you pay for. We now face six more months of work, reducing our capacity for the coming year. We'll have to cut spending on inpatient care and consultancy fees by 50%. Therefore, we ask doctors to refrain from committing patients and encourage homestays instead. Unless they're dying in your arms, don't book them in. How nice and responsible. Staff party! Worry not, the staff party is still on. Our recreation budget is locked away where no one can tamper. Again, how responsible. Everyone meet at Annie's bar on 8 p.m. on Friday. Alcohol, medicinal of course, and food will be free. Arrive early to grab a trainee nurse. They go quick. What can you say about that? Someone has written on the wall. It says, Lucy, 23. Another throwable weapon, a toaster. And we get the exam room key. So now that we have the exam room key, let's go check that out. It's a plastic anatomy doll that's missing some parts. Take a look. Well, there's nothing we can really do here for now. We don't have everything. To all staff, it's forbidden to enter my office unaccompanied until further notice. Dr. Kaufman. We know that name. And another throwable weapon, a typewriter. We get plastic intestines and plastic stomach. We're going to be playing Surgeon Simulator. Uh, I seriously cannot watch that game. Even though it's just hilariously broken physics and everything. I don't know, man. Like, the complete and total gore fest that is Silent Hill sometimes and Resident Evil. I'm okay with that. I can handle that. But... You get a surgical thing going on, and it just squicks me right out. Anyone else experience that? To where normally gore is okay, but surgical stuff just no? Anyway, there's a light box on the wall. Turn it on. Someone has written on the x-ray. It says, Sarah, 19. So, with that, we have the full password. We've got all three names and all three ages. As the note said, age before beauty. So, we put them in descending order of ages. Our password thus is 31 23 19. And so, to actually make use of that, we need to head back to the other world. So, back we go. All right.
it. Where were the stairs? Over this way. Get around that shelving unit. Because, yeah, in the fog world, the door to the stairs was completely broken. Also, I keep forgetting, I think there's a note that I needed to look at in uh, the other world version of the bathroom. And I keep forgetting to do so. Alright. So. 31. 23. 19. And we get a plastic heart. And also, suddenly... They're not dealing with the beating heart sound effect there anymore, either. I know there's going to be someone out here. I know how Silent Hill works. Get off, get off, get off. Fisticuffs! Alright. So that's all we needed there, really. Anyone else? Yep. Get off, get off, get off! Fisticuffs! Fisticuffs! Alright. So with that, back to the fog world with us. Remember to check for the notes. Check for the notes. Yeah, there it is, right there. Having trouble with your anatomy class? Find that getting them out is much easier than putting them back in? Just remember this easy mnemonic. Inside Stevie, little Henry lurks. What the hell? Well, that's not creepy at all. Alright. It is at least a bit on the nice side that the fog world here in the hospital doesn't have any enemies. Don't get too used to that. Gonna go ahead and call another save and refreshing pause here, though. We've done a good bit. We're saving, we're waiting... And there we go. So, back in a moment. And continuing on. We're almost done with the hospital. So let's try and wrap it up. We have all the pieces, so let's take care of this. Order does matter when putting the organs back in place. Inside... Stevie, little Henry lurks. It's the first two letters of the mnemonic. The doll's eyes have opened, and that's kind of freaky. So we get some glass eyes. Also, alcohol bottle, lovely. Doorway sealed up tight. I can't get through. Nothing else we can really do in the fog world for now. So, back to the other world.
You're going to put a nurse right out here, aren't you? Knew it. And there we go. Right. So, this door wanted eyes. And eyes it shall have. I want to go ahead and chug a health drink, actually. There we go, that's better. Alright. Oh, more nurses. Get off, get off, get off, get off, get off. Let's see here. I love Lucy! Well, that was a bit more effective than I was expecting. Come on, nurse, let's dance the Travis two-step. All right. Yay, replacement TV. Yay, replacement health drink. Yay, we can't get out of the hospital. Oh well. You didn't think it'd be that easy, did you? Okay, anything of interest in here? Well, nothing in the sink. No getting out that way. I have another scalpel. She's been cut open and her eyes are missing. What kind of monster could have done this? A little creepy when you consider that's where the anatomy doll was in the fog world. All right. Okay, I've got a green scalpel, lots and lots of throwables. Ah, the drip stand doesn't really have much durability on it, even though I've not used it yet. Yeah, sometimes you will find weapons that are weak just from the get-go. Already pre-used, I suppose. Scalpel might be my best bet for now. Because... It's boss time! Meet the straight jacket. The straight jacket is essentially the lying figure from Silent Hill 2, just with some new moves. But if you can get around behind it, it's not that hard to deal with. Oh, my scalpel's out, though. And that's that. Of course, really it was just a minor enemy. We'll be seeing plenty of them. And we get part of the Triforce. I mean, the future piece. What is this? You. What was that thing? Dimensional Pout! This isn't happening. Wrong game, Travis. This isn't Eternal Darkness. Travis. Nice to meet you, Lisa. You sure you're okay? You look a little shaken up. Sorry. No, it's okay. To be honest, I've been 
A little off all day. I was in a fire last night. I think it boiled my brain a little. The fire in the business district? How awful. I heard about that. No one knows how it got started. And that poor girl, Alessa Gillespie, to die like that. Alessa? She died? Yes. Sorry. Did you know her? No. But... Never mind. Well, I have to run. Dr. Kaufman wants to meet me over at Cedar Grove Sanitarium, and he'll be mad if I'm late. Maybe see you around? Take it easy, Travis. You too, Lisa. So with that, we're done with the hospital, and we had a bit of a reunion with Lisa Garland. Someone locked the door. I'll have to find another way out. Someone locked the hospital from outside, and you can't unlock it from inside. It's only a game. It's only a game. And it's only Silent Hill. It plays by its own rules. So, one thing of noting there is that is one thing a lot of fans of Silent Hill don't like about Origins is how it portrays Lisa Garland. But there are some things about Lisa you have to bear in mind. I'll be covering that later in some analysis videos. But for now, we're done with Alcamilla Hospital, so I think we're just going to save it for now. We're going to call an end to it here. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope you're enjoying the series so far, and I shall see you again next time. Until then, fare thee well.